Estabrook here. I just wanted to say a few words about how to construct improvised melodies. Lots of ways to construct melodies, but this is just one idea for you to think about. This principle will help stimulate uh, something that you hadn't previously thought about or give you uh, a pathway to create your own ideas that will head you in a different direction. I think sometimes it's helpful to think of a melody as arising out of two parts. You could think of those parts as maybe orbits. Orbits would be a rhythmic orbit and a harmonic orbit. So then uh, the question arises, well, how do I develop the rhythmic orbit or how do I develop the harmonic orbit? enough jazz materials out there that um, we can probably gain a sense of how to develop a harmonic orbit. It's by working on scales and chords in various permutations uh, from various degrees in various directions. Of course include stepwise and intervallic patterns on various tonalities. ways that I've worked out uh, the rhythmic orbit uh, is based on an idea that I heard in an interview with Dave Douglas. Uh, his idea was that you should work out your rhythmic ideas against a metronome. If you're going to work with a metronome, you might experiment with having the metronome click on 2 and 4. It's a good starting place. However, I've used other resources for hashing out rhythmic ideas. In that I've used uh, drum tracks that are pre-recorded and um, I use the amazing slowdowner to work them at various tempos. And with a variety of grooves can also um, bring rhythmic inspiration. So not just swing time, but Latin time, funk, fusion, whatever it might be. Now available to students are a variety of drum tracks just on YouTube. The idea would be to use uh, one of the many Abersold albums. I'm of a generation that tends to still use that as a resource. The iReal program is also another one where you can create your own uh, length of song, your own rhythmic feel, your own harmonic context, whatever, whatever you like. Resource you're going to work with, whether it's a metronome, a pre-recorded track, iReal, it doesn't really matter. The principles are the same. recommend for students is what I've practiced and continue to practice myself, starting with quarter notes against that rhythmic underpinning, and improvise uh, in initially in a free sense, so without regard to a tonality, just improvise quarter note lines. Those lines can be by leap or by step or a combination. And 
the next step would be, of course, to increase that rhythmic value from quarter notes to quarter note triplets. And we're talking about in 4-4 four, four time, obviously. Stage would be to increase that uh, rhythmic value to eighth notes. Eighth note rhythmic level, then I would move to eighth note triplets and improvise freely within that rhythmic framework exclusively. Finally, uh, one would be playing essentially a double time by playing at the 16th note level in relation to the time frame that you're working with. These two orbits intersect is if we move to, let's say, an Abersold track that has a fixed tonality or some kind of a modal situation where you're going to have one tonality sounded for an extended period of time. And if you don't use the Abersold series, you can find something on YouTube or you can create something in iReal. And if neither of those work for you, just turn on the metronome and in your mind, hold a tonality in your head. Second stage to uh, developing uh, the rhythmic aspect is to then apply a harmonic context to those rhythms at the various levels. Go beyond exploring the harmonic realm uh, through patterns, stepwise, intervals, etc. We want to explore that territory melodically. So we want to begin to create melodies within a specific harmonic subset. Foundational work is something that's overlooked, and I think uh, jazz education in general tends to point the student towards an ever-moving harmonic context where they're trying to learn too many things at once. For myself and for my students, it's been more successful to break things down even further and then reapply them to the moving harmonic context. Want to create uh, an improvised melody in the context of a, harmo a harmonic structure that's moving rapidly, you have to be able to do it in a harmonic structure that's not moving rapidly first. I think also, in my experience at least, um, the jazz education world tends to be fixated on the harmonic aspect more exclusively and less on the rhythmic aspect. For example, you don't want to improvise in a very uh, harmonically complex realm like a Woody Shaw tune or a Wayne Shorter tune using the rhythms of Louis Armstrong. versa, if you're playing in a band that's playing a 1920s tune, uh, you don't want to be playing harmonically like Woody Shaw. Ideally, um, you would have enough stylistic background through listening and study of transcriptions and recordings uh, to be able to correctly place both aspects in the style that uh, the tune calls for. I'm not saying that you're limited by that. Um, experimentation is, you know, encouraged and welcome. But I think, generally speaking, as a sideman, you want to play stylistically within the context of what's going on around you. So I'll come back 
to the subject and, and uh, take it to the next developmental level in a future video, but hopefully that will get you started in the right direction.